All right, it's that time once again for another Alterac Valley, September the 1st, 2023. Looks like we have 27 Maniacs up in the house. I am on Life's Two Port, my Warlock. Looks like Shanley is going to be the raid lead for this one here. We are heading into the field, maybe? Our Galve, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Got to get up, you know, my demonic circle over here. Just in case they do want to come to Galve, I can port them out. They did go over to Stormpike. So yeah, they definitely were trying to do the same thing they did to us earlier. They were going to try and rush Galv here, of course. But we are ready for it this time. The hunter here, I don't know what he was thinking, rushing in by himself there, but okay. And there's Deacon, I see him. There's a few other names over there we recognize as well. What are they going to do? Are they going to try to fight and hold Snowfall? Yeah, they are. We're going to hit it. <laughs> I tried to port some back here. I got a few of them, yes. <laughs> and a nice knockback. They got knocked back even further off the cliff, man. We got to deal with the tank right here. Let us pray. I recognize that name. Sounds very familiar. The tank goes down so fast. Wow, he almost got destroyed there in one go. We just took basically Snowfall. They're going to cap it, it looks like, because we didn't have enough time here to actually get it before it fully caps. So we got to drop the guards real quick. But I think most of the bodies have been looted, so they probably won't even have that many that resurrect here. We are capping it back now. So far, nobody has wanted to engage in the team fights. They're over there by SHB. Are they going to try to start heading south? That is the question. Buddy, buddy, fall back. Yeah, we're going to fall back. There they go. They're trying to rush in to take that graveyard. Once they get in there and take Ice Bud Graveyard, that's pretty much game over, you know, because they can control the field just like we control the field when we hold the choke point by Ice Wing. They're all rushing up here now. I have a port behind the tower. Question is, can I get close enough to actually port some back there? I'm trying to back up a little bit here and there. The lag is going crazy. I think I might have fixed that in some of my future videos, man, where I changed a lot of my settings here. But yeah, this is ridiculous. Look at this lag going off, man. So much going on at once, man. You can't even see what's going on, on the screen. Like what I'm getting, like maybe five frames a second, if that. <laughs> Disoriented. Oh, can I even hit ability here? Is there anything that it goes off? I got dark packed off. That keeps me in full health. We have some people that are on the other side by the graveyard there. We kind of got them sandwiched in a little bit. We just got to basically stop attacking these tanks and take out their heals. They have quite a few heals. I'm looking at a lot of them. Try to get some port back here maybe. Had to line of sight, you know. Yep. Line of sight there helps a little bit. Deacon is not tank spec right now. So that's good. We got a few of them ported back there. A couple of their heels. I uh, got stuck on the wall there. This priest wants to go upstairs. Okay. We'll chase him up there. That's one of their healers that's out of the game if he went up there. No, he turned around. Finish. We're going to destroy him though. That's one healer down. Finish. They still have another priest. Two more priests actually. Two monks. The Paladin, two Druids, and a Shaman. That is a lot of heals. Granted, I mean, we have quite a few, too. We have seven, it looks like. Question is, can we take them out? I'm trying to do some damage here and trying to stun what I can there. Drop the Shadow Fury on top. They're kind of sandwiched right here. We are getting more kills than they are. Our score is still 698 because we have our mind, so we are regenerating. I guess they're regenerating too, but they're losing more than us. Yeah, this might be a full team wipe for them if we keep this up here. Just keep the pressure on. Spinning crane kick from their healer there. Yeah. Make sure no one's going up in the tower. We have a tap on Storm Pike and North Bunker and South Bunker. Yeah, buddy. You know what that means? That means a lot of their team are going to have to leave and go back north. <laughs> they definitely don't want to lose both north and south right there. Especially, you know, in the opener like this. Finish that lock off in the back. Almost got him. Locks down. I'll take that killing blow. Got a healer over here. Drop the priest in the back. Yeah. Now we can take out the tank maybe. Oh. Another one popped back up to go down again. Loot the bodies here always. Then they have to run back from Snowfall. Hunter Turtles right there. Who dropped the rubbery fish head? <laughs> Somebody's trolling, man. Trying to get more damage. <laughs> trying to pump their numbers up right wow they are starting to go down they had a few of them that tried to push toward the graveyard but that kind of split their team there and allow us to wipe them yeah 
That was definitely a really good push they brought there. Really good team fight action there. I'm going to go ahead and put the circle down just in case they do want to go Galv. They have Snowfall. Obviously, whenever they have Snowfall, you know they could definitely go and hit Galv. They don't have a lot up here, though. We might be able to take it. There's one healer down. Taking down Matt next. He's going to feign death. Yeah, we're not falling for the feign death. Chaos Bolt to the face. Trinket that. Uh, I don't have anything left that can instant cast, so I got to start doing some incinerates. Yep. Took that kill, knocked him off, and you got the cap. Perfect. We are fighting him there by SHB. We have Stone Earth Graveyard tapped as well. We lost Snowfall, of course. But we don't really need Snowfall, do we? Got to tap on Ice Wing. Got to tap on Stone Earth Graveyard. Taking down the Druid Healer. Druid Healer is down. Hunter's going to go down next. Don't oh, Turtle. Stay up there, though. Don't leave the Graveyard. They definitely will try to push in here and take it back. Especially when they start wiping, you know. April's going to go down. We got a tank that's going all the way to the flag. We have a lot of people by SHB. Hopefully the people by SHB are on their way here. Looks like they are sending their people from SHB here as well. Yeah, they don't want us to have this. Altsy's right here. Finish Altsy. Altsy's down. Got to deal with DK now. Now the tank maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. They got their healer down there. Leap X. We've seen them a lot. A lot of their healers are dead, though. It's showing over BG enemies. Either they're not in the team fight or they're just totally not around, you know? Yep. Oh, they're sending a lot now, though. We need everybody here. Hopefully, we're going to take SHB in the process. We probably are not going to hold this, it looks like. I don't have a port for another 45 seconds, and I don't know if I can survive that long up here, man. They got almost their entire team rushing up here to the graveyard. They have taken our graveyard down south, too. So if we die here, we're going to respawn all the way back at Frostwood Graveyard. Nice play for him. Got to give that to him. Yep. So far, we're still alive. I mean, it's going to be rough here. This is a rough team fight here. They have literally put all their eggs in this basket trying to take Stone Earth Graveyard back. We have a tap on SHB. Uh, just turtle here as long as we can, man. The longer time we can turtle here, the lower the timer will be on the SHB bunker. We burn SHB Bunker. That's a free 100 points. The only problem we have right now is all our dead are going to resurrect there at Frostwood. Looks like they got Ice Blood Graveyard back. I'm going to put my Demonic Circle there. We have a gateway that goes right into the SHB Bunker. Take that. Look at this. They got quite a few people up in here. Don't want to use my port just yet because I don't think there's enough in here. Got the Druid down by the flag. Got a tank over here that we're working on now. Here they come. Oh, no. I need to use my port. Need a stun port. Come on. Anti-Magic Cell. Probably better to wait for all that to go away. I'm not sure if Anti-Magic Cell blocks the port or not. Does it block Shadow Rift? I don't even know. Anti-Magic Shell. I have to ask the DK. We got some of them ported out, though. <laughs> we got 55 seconds left to go to hold this bunker to get it to burn. And we have taken Snowfall. We've got a tap on Ice Wing. Uh, looks like we cleared them out of Galve. I mean, right now, man, we're kind of all over the map. So that might be their opportunity to take this one back. I'm trying to LOS here as much as I can. Trying to stay out of there. I need to just basically stay alive for another 20 seconds where I can get a port off again. Trying to get some stuns over there. Oh, no, I'm going down. Yep. Oh, we're going to burn it, though. It's still going to burn. We had enough people. Woo! It does burn, man. Nice job up in SH Bunker. We still have Snowfall. We got to tap on North and South again. Their team's going to have to go back up there again. My milkshake's going to go down. And we are starting to chase them out now. They're going to jump out of the bunker, of course. I guess our next play is to take Shiggy. Stone Hearth Graveyard, man. Let's go. We got half of their team here. We can send some people from Snowfall area around there and west of Belinda. That might be perfect. They're going to grip me up there. Yeah, I got asphyxiated. Yeah. Come on. I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. They want to kill me so bad. Let them have it. I'll go over here and make sure Snowfall is good. It's going to cap right now. Want to put a circle up this way, face the edge there, and if I get a port off, maybe they can get some forward momentum and run down the cliff and jump off. <laughs> Try and port here. Oh, he disengages out. <laughs> Too funny. I'm going to get a port at Stone Earth Graveyard because we were able to take it, it looks like. We got a big team fight in the mid. Oh, man, I got to get close enough to get this port off. One second. There it is, the port. Got the port there. How many are going to get ported? Just hurry up and get up that hill, man. Uh, I can't even tell if I ported that many, to be honest. 
it's got a minute 30 to go. They have a lot of people here. We have a ton of people up in the field. Man, start dropping pest foggers, everything you got. Knock some people off this cliff here. Got rid of a hunter out of there, and that's good. We got three healers on top of the flag. We got to get people up here, though, man. There's a lot of people in the field. They are trying to rush up here, man. Come on, get to Shiggy in time this time. There's no other objectives, really, for you to mess with down south. We probably don't even want to hit Belinda for a while yet. As long as I can stay alive a little bit longer to keep spinning this flag here. Got one minute to go, and the rest of our team players coming up. We need to get a gateway down. I should have did that. That's one thing that I screwed up here. For our people coming from the south, I should have went down there and got them a gateway up here. Yeah. That was bad play on my part. But you know what they say. Hindsight is 2020, right? Ah, I'm not going to live long enough, man. No. I got to port. I can port again. I can port here. Come on, port. How come I'm not porting? <laughs> I'm too busy, man, trying to spin the flag. I don't even realize I have a port up. There's a killing blow there. We are starting to wipe them. The rest of our team shows up just in the nick of time there, man. Woo. Man, that was perfect timing. We couldn't have held out like even a second longer, probably. <laughs> I still don't know why I didn't port them, though. I guess because I figured like, hey, they're dying here. There's really no reason to port them. And we pretty much had it kept. It's going to be fully kept. Now, we are on Belinda. If we wipe their whole team here, it probably would be a good opportunity to take this to kill Belinda and get that 100 points out of the way. Yeah, because they're going to have to run back from Stormpike. Belinda is going down now. We did do that. Exactly. Exactly as predicted, man. We've taken out Belinda. Another 100 points, man. Yeah, this team is pretty fun to fight, man. I definitely like fighting teams that are like this. They had a lot of pressure on us in a few different spots there, man. They were able to retake Stone Earth Graveyard that one time. They dropped us out of Snowfall. Yeah, that team fight in the first beginning one at Ice Blood Graveyard Choke Point area there. That was pretty and fun, too. Very nice to have some good matches, though, man. Alterac Valley Maniacs putting the fun back into PvP Epics, man. Looks like we lost Icewing, so they were able to go back in there. We're going to have to do a full push now that Belinda's dead. Should be a lot easier, though, once our team gets up here and regroups. We're starting to take down a few targets here and there. They're starting to fall back already. If you got some pest foggers, now is a good time to use them. Knock them down that cliff there. <laughs> I don't have the finish line on this character, so I won't be able to put up the goal. But we just taken down a healer there. Bud's Bunny's going to go down. Nice name. I got to give him to him that. Taking down the Pally now, the tank. Does the tank die here? Yes. Wow. Okay. Pally tanks are not as, you know, as tough as Bloods, I guess, or Druids for that matter. Probably they need some buffs, right? It seems like they probably are on the lesser side of the tanks for this expansion. Even, even the Demon Hunter tank probably feels like it needs a few buffs, really. Especially when you see how strong, you know, Blood and Druids are. Yep. Prot Warriors, I guess they're pretty okay. Uh, they're probably mid-tier, I would say. We're starting to push them back here slowly. Oh, no, I got ripped in. <laughs> I popped everything I had. Will it save me? Nope, it does not. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, we ported one. Got the healer back there. Bugs Bunny again. Finish him. I used my coil on that to make sure I got the kill there. Nope, he's back up. Had a soul stone. <laughs> Don't want to get away again. Take two for one. Almost got a 20. Yes. <laughs> we'll take two kills on the same target. If they want to battle res him again, I mean, go ahead. We got tap on Icewing again, too. That pally tank got battle res. Is already back in the fight. One of the two. They're all clumped up right there, man. Just start dropping that AoE, man. I don't have a port for another 20 seconds. I like to port, though, whenever I got, you know, some stun ready, too. Because you'll hit that port, and then you can either hit Shadow Fury or summon your Inferno right on top of them and stun them there. And then if you get, like, a warrior to drop a Kyrian Spear or, you know, a Mass Root or something to hold them in place there, shaman with their totem, anything, it's just gravy on the top, right? Uh, they got our Relief Hut. Yeah, so they had some people going south. Wonder who it is down south. They don't really have any stealthies. Probably F-Boom, maybe? That's about all I could think of unless they send a non-stealthy. This team fight is rough, though, man. Look at all this. This is just 
pure epic PvP fun, man. Trying to figure out which targets are going to go down first. This guy's just running into us. I don't know what he was thinking there. You got to take the free candy when it falls off the tree, I mean, right? <laughs> Using this stump here to LOS is perfect right there, too. Ported a couple. Only two, it looks like. Going to drop them in the back, though. Get some of them DPS down. Locks down. Finish off the warrior next. Warrior's down, too. Loot all these bodies so they got pretty far to run back. Icewing Bunker's got a minute to go. Are they going to actually uh, just let it burn here or what, man? Doesn't look like they are trying to push up the hill and go in there. Or more likely, man, we're just putting too much pressure on them here, man. With us spawning this close to the graveyard, we have the advantage for sure. Especially since center, we have the high ground too. Yeah, they're starting to go down the cliff. We got another healer down. Uh, 42 seconds left to go on Icewing to burn. Trying to get some stuns off down the cliff there. Yeah. April's down there. We got a hunter. They're falling back. Their next strongest choke point is going to be Stormpike Graveyard. So most likely they will want to go back there and try to do some damage there. We got people up top here. I'm going to gateway across. Might as well, right? <laughs> we got people on top of the cliff, man. That's actually probably the most people I've seen up on this hill before. Look at all of our ranged up here, man. I need to get some more AoE bolts down, but I don't have any soul shards to do anymore. Oh, the tank's up here now. That's... Good or bad? Is that bad for us? No, the tank dies. Okay. Tank dies. Maybe we should have somebody up here. Get one of them DKs up here to start gripping us some targets. <laughs> silence there. Had to fall back out of the little silent circle. They see us up here now. We got people that are trying to push through the choke point down there. We are hitting them up from above here. I mean, this is fun too. Just a little bitty strategies like this, man, is what makes it work. We have a tap on South Bunker there. One minute and ten seconds to go. We have most of their team turtled here. Are they going to let South burn? I don't know, man. A minute to go. They might just let it burn. Uh, we got a lot of people that are in South. We got maybe a couple of them that are starting to go down, though. So they might have had a few people recall back over there. Uh, can I get a gateway up there? Uh, I don't know. This guy won't leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to get a gateway onto this cliff. Oh, I can't use that here. Oh, that sucks. Not up high enough, man. I need to get higher on that cliff. If I put another gateway up, man, I'd have to wait a minute cooldown to even try, though. But probably from the top of this hill there, that second hill there, you probably could get a gateway across that way. But, like I said, you'd have to go through gateway after gateway, and then you'd just be sitting there for a minute waiting for the cooldown. Because once you use one gateway, it is a minute cooldown. They did reclaim South Bunker. Okay. Well... 156 to 595 is the score now. Duffy's coming up here now. We got Duffy going up the cliff. Duffy is scaling the walls. Usually when Duffy starts getting pulled back, though, we end up getting pushed back and falling back. There's Katie. Oh, no, Katie's not going to die. Gets out of there. Yep. What do they have? What? The four druids there? I can't tell what spec they are because of the buffs that are going off on them right now. Yeah, might be time to get out of here. Put a gateway back down so people can get up here, maybe. Looks like I'm tanking Duffy right now. <laughs> oh, man. The Clothy is tanking Duffy. That pretty much shows you that Blizzard, hey, you need to buff some NPCs, man. If the Clothies can tank, you know, elites, might be a little bit underpowered. <laughs> Just saying, right? Is Duffy going to go down? Got a skull on Duffy. They are pushing us through the choke point now. We may not get Duffy down, though. Uh, it's going to be close. 15%. We got people that are trying to converge on South Bunker again as well. They just got to tap on it. Oh, I'm going to go down here. I used Dark Pack. Duffy did die, though. Woo! Glider out of here. Oh, I tried to glider, man. Didn't quite make it. Oh, there's a gateway here. What? A gateway into the bunker? I'm going to drop a circle here see if I can port people. The gateway went all the way up inside South Bunker, man. Woo! Yeah. Talk about a nice gateway there, man. That had to be Lick, yeah? Lick's up in here in the house. <laughs> Those gateways, man, they can be put in a lot of different locations if you are dropping them from the top down. Uh, we got 247 to go in here. They're pushing us back to Icewing Choke Point. But, I mean, we're in South Bunker, and we got a lot of people that are pushing on Stormpike Graveyard now, too. To be honest, 
probably would have been better if all of our people at Storm Pike Graveyard would have just zerged right into here and just stayed inside the South Bunker. Let them have Storm Pike Graveyard and let them spawn there. That would have worked ten times better, I think. Because if they would spawn there, then, you know, they wouldn't be spawning at 8 Station and be that close to the South Bunker here. We are starting to drop some of them, though. We got a minute 45 to go. Got to burn this bunker. If this bunker burns, it's pretty much GG. They are starting to rush in here. They know the same thing. They realize, too, if this bunker burns, it's all she wrote. I'm trying to stay alive with whatever I can. I'm using Drain Life, Health Stones, all my cooldowns, everything I got, man. Oh, buddy. Underway. Oh, no, I got ported. Nope, I didn't get ported. <laughs> Ran out, but I got wrecked there. Looks like it's going to burn. Try to get back into the gateway. Oh, they're on the flag. It's going to burn. Match is over. 100 kills. Boom. Nice game, man. 15 killing blows and 5 deaths. I will take that, man. Look at that. Charming was on our team, man. I totally forgot. He's got 19 killing blows for the Horde. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.